As the 21st century began, human evolution was at a turning point. Natural selection, the process by which the strongest, the smartest, the fastest reproduced in greater numbers than the rest, a process which had once favored the noblest traits of man, now began to favor different traits. Most science fiction of the day predicted a future that was more civilized and more intelligent. But as time went on, things seemed to be heading in the opposite direction, a dumbing down. How did this happen? Evolution does not necessarily reward intelligence. With no natural predators to thin the herd, it began to simply reward those who reproduced the most and left the intelligent to become an endangered species. Having kids is such an important decision. We're just waiting for the right time. It's not something you want to rush into, obviously. No way. Oh shit, I'm pregnant again! I got too many damn kids! I thought you was on the pill or some shit! Hell no! I must have been thinking of Brittany. Brittany? No, you can't! There's no way we could have a child now. Mm -mm. Not with the market the way it is, no. God, no. That just wouldn't make any sense. Come on over here, bitch! He don't care about you! Yeah, well there must be something he likes over here! Me, not to me, baby. Oh, shit. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Well, we finally decided to have children, and I'm not pointing fingers, but it's not going well. And this is helping. So. I'm just saying that before I have in vitro, maybe you should be willing it's to. It's always me, right? Well, it's not my sperm count. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna fuck all of you. That's my boy. <laughs> Cleavon is lucky to be alive. He attempted to jump a jet ski from a lake into a swimming pool and impaled his crotch on an iron gate. But thanks to recent advances in stem cell research and the fine work of doctors Krensky and Altschuler, Cleavon should regain full reproductive function. Put your hands off my junk! Unfortunately, Trevor passed away from a heart attack while masturbating to produce sperm for artificial insemination. But I have some eggs frozen. So just as soon as the right guy comes along, you know. And so it went for generations, although few, if any, seem to notice. At the dawn of the 21st century, the Army began a top-secret experiment. Meet Joe Bowers, our first subject for the human hibernation experiment. As you know, this is highly classified. However, if successful, we believe humans can be stored indefinitely. However, the trial run was prone to human error. See you in a year. And Joe slept slightly longer than expected. Half a millennium, to be exact. From Mike Judge, creator of Office Space and Beavis and Butthead. Oh my God! If you were the smartest person in the world... This one's in your mouth. This one goes in your butt. Hang on a second. This one, this one goes in your mouth. And we're stuck with the dumbest people in history. If you have one bucket that holds two gallons, and another bucket that holds five gallons, how many buckets do you have? Two? What would you do? Excuse me, um, I'm actually supposed to be getting out of prison. You're in the wrong line. I'm the smartest guy in the world? Says who? The IQ test you took in prison. You got the highest score in history. Even smarter than President Camacho. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of America! In the year 2505. We got this guy. He's gonna fix everything. So you smart, huh? The ordinary will be considered extraordinary. I thought your hair would be bigger. Idiocracy. For the smartest guy in the world, you're pretty dumb sometimes. 